Hello, and welcome to my channel. This is pure fiction, so please don't take any of it seriously. This video contains a story about a relationship between boys, so if it disturbs you for any reason just leave. I don't own any of the haiku characters or music or background art or anything other than the plot. This doesn't in any way show or describe or depict how the haiku characters act. It is just for fun so don't take any of this seriously. Enjoy. All text between parentheses represents thoughts. May 9, 2023, around 9 a.m. Are you okay? Yeah. Hut's hungry. I will buy you some food. Oikawa grabs Daichi's arm as Daichi begins to stand up from the bed. No need. We are leaving the hospital after a few. We can eat in a restaurant on our way back. If that's what you want. But I can buy a chocolate bar to keep you energized until then. Oikawa nods at him as Daichi gets up and leaves the room. A few minutes pass before Daichi enters the room again and hands Oikawa a chocolate bar. Oikawa glances at the milk chocolate bar before looking at Daichi again. Is something wrong? And no. If you don't feel like eating it, I will buy another one. No, that's not it. Shit, I haven't eaten anything with milk in a while. But I am not in my body anymore. So I am fine with milk I guess. Koshi if you don't. Honestly, for a second I thought I was lactose intolerant, that's why I was reluctant to eat. Oikawa opens the chocolate bar before taking a bite. Why did you think that? I don't know. I forget how good this milk chocolate bar is. I have not eaten anything with so much milk in few years. Fuck aging. Why can't my intestines do their job properly? I can finally eat milk bread without worrying or having to take medicine to eat it. W why are you tearing up? N nothing. I will eat 50. Oikawa takes the last bite from the bar as the doctor walks into the room. Good morning, Sugawara-san, how are you feeling today? Way better. That's good. The head scans are normal, and you don't have any signs of concussion. That's great, but then what caused his memory loss? We still have not detected the reason for it yet. The blood work will show if there is any internal injury that was not detected by the scans. So, should he stay here long? Please say no, I don't want to stay another minute. That won't be necessary, we have been monitoring Sugawara Sanza's condition for the past few days, and apart from the memory loss, his condition is good. However, for now, we expect the memory loss to be due to the shock of the accident, and he will regain it after a few days. That is if the blood work doesn't show any problem. Of course, I already signed the discharge papers, so you can follow up the process as the admissions requires. Oikawa and Daichi nod at the doctor as the doctor excuses himself. All right, everything is already in the bag. Let's go to management. What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? No, no, I am fine. But, can we? You want to check up on Oikawa before we leave? Yes. All righty. Then, I will drop you by his room and finish the paperwork in the administration office in the meantime. Daichi says as he picks up the bag containing their clothes. Won't they need me to do that? Not really, but if there is something, I will call. Love. Yes. What are you so confused about? Why won't they need me? Like. What I mean. Oh. Do you get what I am confused about? We are married. What? I mean, we can't call it that in Japan, but. No, I know what you are talking about, I just didn't expect it. Now, everything makes sense. I mean, let's go. Oikawa nods as Daichi does a final check to make sure they didn't forget anything in the room before they leave and head to Oikawa's room. Oikawa knocks on the door and enters as Daichi walks in the other direction and presses the elevator. Hey, Iwaizumi nods at Oikawa without looking away from Oikawa's body. Oikawa glances at his unconscious body as he gulps before shifting his gaze away. How is he, still the same? Iwaizumu caresses his thumb over Oikawa's hand, as Oikawa watches Iwaizumi from a distance. This still feels weird, Sugawara-san, why yes, do you remember what happened during the accident? It's... Don't worry, then, it's just, I have a slight memory loss and stuff still doesn't completely make sense. Don't worry. The problem is, that I remember stuff from my point of view and not from Sugawara's. The accident was 100% my fault. I was crying, and it was raining, and I couldn't see properly. I, 
Calm down, Iwaizumi says as he places a hand on Oikawa's shoulder. Oikawa looks at Iwaizumi, who is standing near him. Oikawa stares at Iwaizumi's tired face and red eyes with black circles under his eyes, as his eyes widen. I have never seen Iwaizumi look this bad. Like ever. You began to hyperventilate. Huh. S sorry. I. Don't worry. Sit down a bit. I don't want you to pass out again. Oikawa nods as Iwaizumi helps him to the couch without breaking his eyes from Iwaizumi's exhausted face. I am sorry I asked. No. Don't worry. Don't think too much about it yet. Get rest and get better. And things will come back naturally to you. A knock pulls both their attention to the door, as Daichi enters the room. All the paperwork is done. Daichi says before his eyes widen up, and he rushes to Oikawa's side. What happened? Why do you look this pale? It's nothing. It's my fault. Iwaizumi says as he walks back and sits on the chair near the bed. What? It's nothing. He asked if I remembered details about the accident. I should have just said no and not thought about it, but... But you tried to figure it out. Yeah. And I guess I panicked. Daichi lets out a long sigh as he sits near Oikawa on the couch and glances at the man on the bed, who's breathing gently. We should leave. Daichi whispers near Oikawa's ear, making him nod as Daichi stands and helps Oikawa to his feet. Iwaizumi-san. Yeah. See can you... Give me a call when he wakes up. That will depend on his state. However, when he wakes up, I just want to know that he is fine. Iwaizumi stares at Oikawa before nodding as Daichi excuses them, and they leave the room. Are you sure you don't want to stay another day? Another day won't change anything. I will rest here or at home so it's the same. But here, if something happens, the doctors. It's fine. Really, I am fine. They get into the car, and Daichi starts the engine, Daichi glances at Oikawa one more time before he sighs. You still wanna eat in a restaurant or should we eat at home? At a restaurant, won't it be better if we go home and rest for today? I am fine, Daichi, really. I have rested enough, also I am tired of being stuck in a room, and it is still too early to head home to rest. Oikawa glances at Daichi who is driving with a frown but he doesn't remove his gaze from the road. Can you choose the restaurant? Sure. After few minutes of driving, Daichi parks in front of a restaurant, and Oikawa follows after him. After the order, they take a seat near the window of the restaurant. Oikawa glances at Daichi, who is watching him with a weird look. W what? Nothing. What do you mean by nothing? You have been looking at me weirdly since we arrived. It's... You always order super spicy mapo tofu here. I have never seen you order anything else since you were 14. Shit. How I am supposed to know that Mr. Pleasant doesn't order anything other than that? Like. How will I know? I. Just didn't want to eat something so spicy after being discharged. Daichi watches Oikawa, who gulps and shifts in his seat at his intense gaze before sighing. Alright. Noted. Always eat super spicy mapo tofu here from now on. But, um, does he always eat that everywhere he goes? Or is that his favorite food here? I guess Daichi will figure out so many wrong things about his boyfriend. But how the hell will I know? Gambling, I guess, and watching for his reaction. It's not like he will think I am possessed. Daichi, yes, am I allergic to anything? No, Oikawa nods as the food arrives. Oikawa glances at the cooked fish, rice bowl, and soup before looking at Daichi, who picked up his chopsticks. Oikawa takes a deep breath before picking up a spoon and starting to eat slowly. Daichi glances at Oikawa before picking up the fish from in front of him. Let me help you out with the fish. So nice. Such a gentleman. Oikawa smiles as he watches Daichi pick out the fish meat and put them on the plate. Done. Daichi says few minutes later with a smile before placing the plate in front of Oikawa again, who smiles widely at him. Thank you. Oikawa says he picks up a piece of meat and eats it with rice. Anything for my love. You are too good with your mouth. Oikawa says as he stares at Daichi, as a grin surfaces on Daichi's face. So, you didn't forget that part. Oikawa's face heats up as he starts to cough as his face turns completely red. Daichi hands Oikawa a cup of water as Oikawa takes it quickly and gulps it down with a glare. That's not what I meant. 
and I remember nothing of such sort. What sort? Daichi. Yes, love, you are being such an asshole right now. Talking about assholes and eating. Stop, you started it. Lies, Oikawa says as his ears turn into a darker shade of red. Such a tease. Who the hell is teasing who? You. When did I? Didn't you say you wanted to taste my mouth? Did not. Oikawa lowers his red face as he scoops some of the thick soup and pours it over the rice before taking a bite as Daichi stares at him, amused. Fine, I will stop. But stop pouting cuz you make me wanna bite those lips. Oikawa immediately presses his lips together as Daichi lets out a small chuckle. Have you always been like this? No but you taught me well. WTF. Mr. Pleasant. He is such a pervert. Looking at me innocently makes me feel like I wronged you. Well, that's because you did me wrong. I ain't innocent, but hearing suck talk from a stranger is uncomfortable. I don't remember, so I don't know if I should feel wronged or not. Daichi's smile immediately drops before he takes another bite. Oikawa glances at Daichi as he begins to chew on the side of his cheek. I shouldn't have said that. S sorry. What for? I shouldn't have said that. Well, that's reality no need to apologize. Still, I bet that hurts you. Having the person you dated for more than nine years say he doesn't remember anything. That will hurt. The rest of the meal continues in silence as Oikawa glances uncomfortably occasionally at Daichi, whose face still looks in pain. After they pay, they walk back to the car, and Daichi starts driving as the atmosphere continues to be suffocating. Oikawa glances again at Daichi, who is concentrating on the road, before sighing and staring out of the window, taking in the scenery. This is close to Kitagawa Daiichi Junior High. Shit, we are so close to my middle school. Do you remember this place? Eh, yes, the neighborhood doesn't seem too strange to me. I remember it, but not our address. Daichi gently grabs Oikawa's hand between his and caresses his finger over Oikawa's hand while his gaze is still fixed on the road. That's good, love. Remembering small details is better than remembering nothing. Oikawa nods as he stares at Daichi's smiles, but a lump forms in his throat when their eyes meet for a brief second before Daichi shifts his eyes back to the road. Daichi's eyes were filled with so much pain. The only reason I know this area like the back of my hand is because I used to go to school close by. But I guess I will talk about stuff I can say I remember, maybe that will ease his pain a bit. Love. Daichi places a hand on Oikawa's shoulder pulling Oikawa from his thoughts as Oikawa glances around realizing that the car has stopped. H have we arrived? Yeah, Oikawa nods as he glances at the two-story house and presses his lips together. I wanna go home. To our home. To my house with Hajime. Oikawa's heart tightens as Iwaizumi's exhausted face pops into his head. I miss him. I miss him so much. I wanna be with him now. The last time we spoke we were fighting. I wanna make up with him now. I can't stay away from him for so long. I am tired of that. That was what was the fight about, to begin with. I wanna make up with him. Like now. But being in this body. I can't even approach him. Dot. I don't wanna be apart. But he asked me to break up. I know he didn't want that. Or even mean it. Or else why would he look so bad after the accident? I never saw him in such a state before. Why did he even do that? Why, if he didn't bring breaking up, I wouldn't be in this situation. I know I started packing before, but I wouldn't have gone anywhere if he didn't bring breaking up. I would have. I am not blaming him for this. It's my fault. I should have parked when I could see any more. Daichi reaches his hand to caress Oikawa's cheek, who is blankly staring from the window at the house. Why are you crying? I am not, Oikawa says as he reaches his hand to his wet face. I didn't even wanna go inside first, Oikawa gulps before nodding as they both get out of the car. Daichi grabs the bag from the backseat before holding Oikawa's hands, making Oikawa glance at him as a small smile spreads on Daichi's face. Let's go, Daichi says as he tightens his grip on Oikawa's hand making the latter nod at him. They walk towards the door entrances, and Daichi opens the door and enters the house as Oikawa takes a deep breath and walks inside behind him before locking the door. Oikawa trails Daichi into the house until reaching their bedroom before freezing at the door. He gulps as he glances at Daichi, 
who places the bags on the bed. Why didn't I think of this until now? We, I, I don't want to sleep in the same bed with someone else. Shit, I don't think I can avoid this one. Love. Daichi extended his hand to place it on Oikawa's shoulder, but the second his hand touched Oikawa, he flinched. Daichi widens his eyes at Oikawa and retracts his hand as the latter lowers his head. Shit. Oikawa raises his head to meet Daichi's gentle eyes, making him bite his lips as guilt wins his heart. I, sorry, it's not that, I don't want to do anything that will count as cheating, but at the same time, I don't want to ruin what they have. And I honestly don't know what to do to ensure that both things happen. I really, it's not your fault, you were deep in your thoughts, and I surprised you. Still, it's all right, but, Daichi smiles before messing up Oikawa's hair. See, you didn't flinch now. You were surprised a second ago, don't worry. Oikawa nods as he starts taking his clothes from the bag and laying them on the bed. If that's how he wanna think about it, let him. What are you doing? Unpacking. We can do that later. And what should we do now? How about you rest a bit? I don't wanna lay in bed anymore. I feel like my legs will turn into a tree trunk if I don't move around. Daichi lets out a chuckle before nodding at Oikawa. Let me help you then. Sure, even though it's not that hard, I don't know where anything goes. Where is my part of the closet? We don't have designated sections. We usually wear each other's clothes. Why are you looking at me like that? Daichi says as he starts hanging the cloth, Oikawa has laid on the bed. Even underwear. Daichi raises an eyebrow before nodding as Oikawa's body suddenly shivers. I have been dating Hajime for so long, but I have never worn his underwear. We wear each other's clothes. But underwear, does that make you uncomfortable? A. Eh? A bit. Also, why are you hanging the cloth? What do you want me to do with them, then? Wash them. I didn't know where the hamper was, so I laid them on the bed, but they needed to be washed. But we didn't use the cloth in this bag. Still, they were in the hospital, so we had to wash them before putting them back in the closet again. Where is the hamper? The bathroom. Oikawa looks in the direction Daichi is pointing before entering the adjoining bathroom to the bedroom and drags the hamper out. He then throws all the cloth from the bags into it. Is there a separate one for underwear? No. Thought so. Oikawa sighs as he drags the hamper out of the room but freezes before looking back at frozen Daichi. Shit. Am I behaving way out of character? Well, I don't care. These people's level of hygiene is scaring me. Where is the washing machine? I I will do the rest. I don't trust this. Don't worry. I will separate the underwear from the rest. After washing everything, I will open new sets of underwear for you and wash them. I will empty a drawer to place your boxers there. Oikawa nods as Daichi takes the hamper out of the room, as Oikawa follows silently behind him. How the hell am I supposed to know how Mr. Refreshing behaves? Oikawa glances at Daichi, who starts stuffing the washing room with the cloth as he throws back the underwear into the hamper. Was I weird? What do you mean? About? The whole? A bit? Yes. You never cared about this stuff and always said, the cloth would be washed equally, separated or not. Daichi chuckles as he adds the detergent and starts the washing machine. I used to separate everything when we were living together at university, at first. I never used to wash towels with anything else, but you never cared and used to wash everything together. Mr. Refreshing needs a hygiene lesson. Like soon. I guess due to the heavy load of life and long hours, at some point, your habit rubbed off on me, and I stopped caring much. It should have been the other way around. Your habit's rubbing on Sugawara, not this. So seeing you complain about this is kind of funny. Daichi says with a smile as he holds Oikawa's hand and drags him back into the bedroom. Anyway, wanna sleep a bit now. But I haven't showered yet. Do they also sleep in that bed without bathing first, too? How don't they stay sick? All right, now rest a bit. But, after you wake up, your new boxers will have dried so you can bathe and change into your PJs. Also don't worry, I will change the covers of the bed too. So, everything will be new and clean. Will that be fine? I guess. Daichi nods at Oikawa before waking Oikawa to bed and lying near him. 
Daichi stares at Oikawa with loving eyes as Oikawa presses his lips as he watches Daichi. Daichi caresses Oikawa's cheek softly as he continues to watch Oikawa. If this was me before the accident, what would I have done? Probably moved to lay on me and buried your face in my neck. They are so sweet, and probably started to suck on it. Didn't need to know that part. And if we didn't have work the next day, then you'd probably. T that's enough. I got the idea. Oikawa screams as his face heats up, making Daichi smirk at him. Fuck. Oikawa watches Daichi as he lies on his back. I never knew you had such a cute side. How the hell does Mr. Refreshing usually behave? What about at the beginning of our relationship? You were the know-it-all guy. But I must at least have one time where I felt shy. Daichi shakes his head before sitting in bed to stare at Oikawa. Damn, Mr. Refreshing is wild. Don't you remember anything from that time? Oikawa's breath stops as he sits in bed too, so he is at eye level with Daichi. Shit, my noisy ass forgot that I should at least know some of this information and got curious. I even asked questions I shouldn't have asked. Shit, Daichi places a gentle hand on Oikawa's back, before pulling Oikawa into a warm hug. Don't panic if you don't remember much. Things will go back to normal soon. Oikawa nods at Daichi's shoulder as a gentle hand continues to caress his back. I sure hope so. I hope this won't take so much time too. Daichi breaks the hug and stares into Oikawa's eyes. He caresses Oikawa's soft cheeks before moving closer to peck Oikawa's cheek, but Oikawa moves away. I can't. I can't allow him to do that. He is already touching me so much, and I feel bad, but nothing more. Rest a bit, love. Daichi says as he gets out of bed with a sad smile. I really don't know what to do. I don't want to hurt him, but I can't act as his lover. D. Daichi. I shouldn't have. I am sorry, it's a habit. Sorry. Don't worry too much about it. Anyway, I have to drop by the station for few hours. Station. Police station. Huh, what for? Does this have something to do with the accident? Calm down, it doesn't. Then. I work there. I am a police officer. Oh, I just wanted to drop by and buy food for the team and the person who has been taking my shifts. Oikawa nods before lying down in bed again as Daichi leaves the room. Oikawa wraps a light blanket over his shoulder and closes his eyes as he feels the unknown tiredness creep to every corner of his body, his heavy eyes close, and sleep wins in an instant. Thank you guys for watching I hope you had fun. What do you think of the story so far? Don't forget to comment them. I love reading all your opinions of the fanfic.